And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Over the next hour, we unfold your map to financial freedom. You'll learn how to retire through investing in single-family and multifamily real estate. You'll learn how to create cash flow and build wealth so you can have the time and money to live the lifestyle you want. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, I'm working on your financial freedom. And yesterday, I had Mike on with me, and Mike and I were working on your financial freedom. And I will tell you this about Mike. The guy's amazing. He's, he's an amazing person. Now, if you didn't catch the show yesterday, not a problem. Go to lifestylesunlimited.com. When you get there, click on the radio tab. Every one of our radio shows is repurposed into a podcast. That way you can get the information you're looking for at your fingertips. If you didn't hear what Mike and I talked about yesterday, you're, you're missing a lot. Because what we did was we got inside the mind of a multimillionaire. And what we found out is that he's just a regular guy like you and me. Unless, of course, you're a gal, in which case, okay, biologically a little different. But he started the exact same way almost every American starts. The exact same way. Listening to the lie. You heard me correctly. Listening to the lie. What lie are you talking about, Al? Well, the lie of go to school, get good grades, get into college, get good grades, get that degree, get into the workforce, straight time for money, do it for 30, 40, 50 years, get a big bag of money, and then try and live off of it and hope you die before you run out of money. That's the big lie. That's the big lie of retirement. That's, that's the secret sauce that every kid in America hears. Well, I don't know about today, to be honest with you, because when I was in school, it was back in like, you know, the 70s and the 80s. So that was a long time ago. But I'm guessing the messaging isn't any different. I know the messaging isn't any different. And here's why I know this. I have children. I have children that are young adults. They're in their early 20s. They have friends that are young adults that are in their early 20s. I hear all the time from my children's friends the lie. The lie. And, and here's, here's the problem they're having in, the, in their 20s. Now, we'll get back to Mike, but here's the problem they're having. They've done all this. They've, they've, they've done everything that they were supposed to do. They've transitioned out of, you know, adolescence into adulthood. They transitioned out of high school. They transitioned into college. And now many of these kids that I know have been trying to transition into the workforce. And it's, it's not as easy as the colleges make it seem. It's, it's not. And here's the other thing these kids are learning. These kids are learning that it costs them a lot of money to go to school. A lot of money. Just take a look at what the median cost of a four-year education is. And keep in mind, most people don't get it done in four years. They need four and a half, maybe five years to get that degree done. It's just a reality. And those educational institutions, well, they love it. They love it because it keeps their coffers full. As a matter of fact, they, they get to control who comes in. They get to select who comes in. They get to decide how many people come in. They get to control their revenue streams. And it's a business. Education is a business. Do not forget that. I, I don't care what private colleges are telling you. I don't care what public colleges are telling you. I don't care what for-profit colleges are telling you. They're all a business. Never forget that. They have a profit motive, even though they don't describe it as a profit. And here's the problem these kids are having. Trying to crack into that workforce because it's difficult. It is difficult to come out of college nowadays and get into the workforce, especially because we just came through a pandemic. And ironically, those businesses of education, they did fine through the pandemic. What do they do? They just basically told their students, because I have a student that's in college. She's in her final year. They basically told her over the past two years, do everything online, which is fine and dandy, except she's an art major. 
yeah, so a lot of what she needs to do requires her hands. You can't mold clay through the internet. I'm just telling you. All right, let's get back to Mike, though, because really what I want to do is I want to share some of the, the more intimate information that I know about Mike. What I want to convey to you is that he's a multimillionaire, and he's a regular dude, and he started in pretty much the same place that I started, which is pretty much the same place you started. He wanted to get to a place in his life where he was financially viable. Financially viable. Yeah, what, is, what does that mean, financially viable? It means he wanted to get to a place in his life where he didn't have to worry about money anymore, where he could create streams of income and he could live off those streams of income and not worry about those streams of income. I mean, that's, that's where we all go to when we become members of Lifestyles Unlimited. We all put together a plan that gets us to that place. Now, back in the early days, back when, you know, Mike was considering going to college, he decided he was going to do the hard route. You heard me correctly. He decided he was going to do the very hard route. What does that mean? Well, engineering, of course. That's exactly what it means. He not only went to school to become an engineer, he went to school to become a mechanical engineer. Yeah, which is like, in Al's world, world that's kind of like the harder of the harder. There might be another level of engineering that's harder, but I don't know. I think they're all really hard. But here's the point. Mike did exactly what he was told to do. He got good grades in high school. He went to Oregon State University. He's a beaver. He earned his mechanical engineering degree. Mike did everything he was told to do. He got that mechanical engineering degree. As a matter of fact, his brilliant mind allowed him to work for two amazing companies. Two amazing companies. You might actually own stock in these com companies, especially if you've got a 401k or an IRA. These companies might actually be in your portfolio. Yeah, they might. Take a look, see what you got in your portfolio. I'm guessing maybe you don't know what's in your portfolio because your financial planner trades that stuff all the time. Yeah. Oh, anyway, let's get back to Mike. Eight years. He did eight years in Boeing Aerospace. Yeah, Boeing is a massive company. I've got another buddy that that does electrical stuff for them. So I, I know a little bit about the, the engineering world in Boeing, and I know this. If you're not the best of the best, you're not working for Boeing. Yeah, go work for Airbus. That's kind of the way they look at it, right? Yeah, okay. So... He did eight years at Boeing, but he didn't work on airplanes. No. You know what he worked on? Space station. Yeah, space station. Yeah, that thing up there in the, in the sky. Well, I guess that's not the sky. That's technically space up there, right? He worked on that for eight years that he was a major project dude for that, the, the space station. Yeah, you got to be smart to do that. I mean, think about it. You're, you're, you're working on something that you can't actually go physically touch and inspect because it's out in space. Oh, I think that's crazy. Before he worked for Boeing, he worked for another amazing company, Hewlett Packard. He did. He was a software developer. He did 21 years hard time at Hewlett Packard. Yeah. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that the time that Mike spent in these amazing companies was bad. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that. I, it, Mike will tell you that he found the work to be very rewarding because he was able to solve major problems time and time and time and time again. And you know what was cool about that? That ability to problem solve translates very efficiently into becoming a real estate investor. Yeah, so once, once Mike finally heard about Lifestyles Unlimited, now, he was living on the West Coast. Yeah, in 2009, after, now get this, after, uh, um, all right, Mike, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something, and if I let the cat out of the bag and you're upset, just call me and I'll apologize to you, but everybody needs to hear this. So Mike was a diligent 401k guy. Yeah, remember I told you he, he did everything he was told to do. 
I mean, he, he saluted the flagpole, moved out three bags full, the whole nine yards, right? So he was dumping money into his 401k. And his company was dumping money in there too, right? I mean, that's that's the magic pill, right? You get a matching amount, and that's going to be the Shangri-La that gets you to retirement, right? Okay, well, let me explain to you what happened in 2000. Mike had, I think he, he was close to like, I don't know, $400,000 in value in his 401k. And in 2000, when the market went through the correction that occurred in 2000, he lost half of that value. Yeah, so his, and, and the way he describes it, his 401k became a 201k. So think about it. Overnight, his wealth literally eroded 50%. Do you think that's going on in the market today? I think that's going on in the markets today. Now, let's get back to Michael. He did exactly what he was told to do. He was told, don't worry about it, man. When the market corrects, stocks go on sale, you're going to do something called dollar cost averaging. The market will eventually recover and you'll actually be better off in the long run. So Mike, you know, he took that advice and he heeded it and he recovered. He did. Over the next eight years, he got that 401k value back to $400,000. It only took him eight years to get it back to $400,000. And guess what happened in 2008? Yeah, you know exactly what happened in 2008. That was the last time. Well, it's not the last time, but that was the next time the market went crazy on Mike. And I'll tell you what, he lost half his value again. So his 401k went back to a 201k. Now you think about the timeline that we're talking about here. Think about it. We're talking about a 29-year working career. He worked for 29 years until we were able to get him to a place of financial freedom where he could just say, you know what, I'm done. I'm not working anymore. And he did that in four years. So think about it. His investing strategy at one time was pump money into 401ks. Get that matching amount. He built it up to 400000 He lost half of it. It took him eight years to build it back up to 400000 again. And he lost half of it. And then he went to work trying to build it back up. But in 2009, that's when he came to Texas. That's when everything changed. Because he heard Lifestyles Unlimited on the radio, something he didn't hear on the West Coast. And all of a sudden, we started telling him stuff that would change his life. And he put that information to work. When we come back from the break, I'm going to spill it all. Stick around. Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at 855-497-4335. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. Well, one thing it has meant for us, and we have to compliment you, you've given us our time back. And I say our time because we got married 33 years ago, and we got married in July. Do you know why? Well, that was before I met Lifestyles. I used to work for Ford Motor Company. And with Ford Motor Company, I was uh, in the automotive division. They have shut down during July, the first two weeks of July. So, so you had, had to wait for down, a shutdown to get married? Yes. Yes, he actually Whoa, changed. that's dedication there. <laughs> he made me change our wedding date. It was supposed to be June 15th, and I changed. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so if I had been in lifestyle, I could have gotten married when I wanted to. <laughs> And the ring would have been bigger. (laughs) (laughs) Ready to get your time back like Vivian and Cornell? Register for the free online workshop at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. So we're going to get into why Michael made a massive radical change in his life in 2009. Yeah, we're going to I'm just going to tell you everything that happened. Now he he told you some of the information yesterday. But here's the thing. 
that information is, is very personal. It's very personal to Michael. I mean, he, he lived through all of those experiences. And some of those experiences can actually be difficult for him to share. Now, he does a really good job of letting you know that he's made mistakes in the past. And, and the reason he does that is he wants you not to make the same mistakes that he made. He wants you to learn from the lessons that he has learned. And I'll tell you this about Michael. He is one of the guys. Now, it's just, well, I, I, I shouldn't even use that term, one of the guys, because really everybody in Lifestyles Unlimited is, is kind of like one of the guys. And what I was getting at, Michael is one of these guys that absolutely believes 100% in helping other people. He, he understands that in order for him to get what he wants in life, he has to help a lot of other people get what they want in life. Yeah, this is part of the mindset shift that you're going to go through when you become a member of Lifestyles Unlimited. We're actually going to get you to start thinking in a different way. Because... Here's the problem Michael had. I'm just, I'm just going to tell it to you. Ready? Sorry, Michael. I'm going to tell him. Michael was suffering from a middle-class mindset. Yeah, you heard me correctly. He was suffering from a middle-class mindset. And in 2009, after he left Oregon, the West Coast, for Texas to take a job because he had been transferred to Texas, he realized, now remember, it's 2009. He just watched his 401k implode again, okay? And he was, he was done with that. He, he was realizing that if you make a certain amount of money and then you lose half of it and it takes you eight years to make it back and then you lose half of it again, do you see the cycle that he was seeing? Remember, this guy's an engineer. This guy can see patterns. Oh, yeah, he can see patterns. And the pattern he was seeing was that the middle class mindset would ultimately fail him. So as he's leaving the West Coast, coming out to Texas for a new job, he's thinking about finding a different way to achieve retirement, finding a different way to get out of the rat race. He realizes he needs a mentor. He needs somebody that is going to guide him through this process. Now, he has been the beneficiary of mentors throughout his life. When he worked at Boeing, he had a mentor that, that helped him in many, many ways in the aerospace industry. When he was at Hewlett Packard, same thing. He had a mentor. So what he realized what was this. If he was going to get out of the rat race, a mentor is a must. He had to have somebody help him understand the path forward because the path forward as he understood it was flawed. So he had to find somebody that had a roadmap that was going to get him to this place of financial freedom that he was desperate to get to. And he heard Del Walmsley, our founder and CEO, on the radio. And Del was talking to him plain and clear, the same way I'm talking to you plain and clear, telling you that, well, telling him at the time, that he had a financial problem. And you know what? M Michael was ready for that hard truth. He was totally ready for that hard truth because he knew he had a financial problem, but he did not know how to resolve it. And that's where Del Walmsley came in. Del Walmsley became his mentor. Yeah, see, Michael joined Lifestyles Unlimited I don't know, 11 years ago. Back, back 11 years ago, Del Walmsley was, was still mentoring. He was still instructing. Okay, now he's, he's 63 years of age now. We're trying to give him his life back. We, we have other people that are members that do that for us. And, and the, the company is much bigger than when it was founded. There's no way Del could do all the things that we do anymore because the company's too big for one person to do all that stuff. But back in the day, Del Walmsley became Michael's mentor. And Del Walmsley looked Michael straight in the eye and he flat out told him, with your $400,000, I can make you absolutely rich, but you're going to have to do what I tell you to do. If you don't do what I tell you to do, your journey may not result where you want it to result in. 
And you know what Michael told him? He said, hey, man, I'm on board. Let's get this done. So Michael went to work investing, investing in real estate, something he had never, ever done before. Yeah, he had, he had no idea of how to buy real estate. As a matter of fact, when it came to apartments, he thought he thought the only people that owned apartments were massively rich people that were near where he lived, okay, or major corporations. He did not understand that people like him and myself, well, we can actually own apartments ourselves. So what did Michael do? Well, he said, you know what? I'm going to go buy me some real estate. I'm going to do exactly what Dell told me to do, and I'm going to go buy some real estate. So he did. He went out, he purchased, rehabbed, owner-operated six single-family homes. He went out and bought six single-family homes. That's what he started with. Here's his result. In a three-year period of time, he was able to sell those assets for 150% return on investment. Okay, let me explain what that means because some people don't understand this return on investment. If Michael had put $100,000 into those six houses, that was his cash outlay, his cash out of pocket, as we like to call it. When he sold all six of those houses three years later, he had $250,000. See, that's 150% return. Yeah, some people think, oh, well, that 150% return, well, that's that, that's that 100000 you put in plus 50000 more. No, no, it's not. He turned $100,000 into $250,000 in three years. That is a doubling effect of his money in about, what, two years? Okay, that is a completely different mindset than what your financial planner is telling you successful investing looks like. Your financial planner is not on this radio show. You, you know that, right? And the reason your financial planners are not on this radio show is because I'm not going to let them keep telling the lie that you can save your way to retirement because it's, it's a lie. It doesn't work. It works for a very, very, very small segment of the world. Very small segment. And you're probably not in that segment. So he doubled his money, more than doubled his money in three years. So what did he decide to do next? Well, Dell said, you know what you need to do, Michael, is you need to, you need to buy some apartments. So Michael did what he was told. He went out and he bought a 68-unit apartment community. He did. He bought it. He became an owner of that, excuse me, 64-unit apartment community. Here's the thing about Michael. He's one of these rare people in the world. Yeah, a rare person in the world who will bend over backwards to help you. All you have to do is ask. Yeah, this this is now you've met people like they're not they're not around very frequently, are they? People that are willing to give you the shirt off of their back because you need it. That's the kind of guy Michael is. That's the kind of guy that becomes a member of Lifestyles Unlimited, as well as all kinds of other guys and all kinds of other gals. They all come to Lifestyles Unlimited to change the trajectory of their life. Now, I, I mentioned to you that Michael spent 29 years in corporate America trading time for money because that's what he was told to do. And he went through a couple of market cycles where his 401k turned into a 201k, not once, but twice. And, you know, I joked with him yesterday. I said, yeah, Michael, you, you're one of the, the interesting guys that made $400,000 in your 401k three times. And he kind of joked. And, and if you don't know the backstory, you would think, wow, he just made $1.2 million. No, he made money. Well, he made some money, then he lost a lot of money, and then he earned it back over eight years, only to lose it again, only to realize that this cycle was not going to get him to where he was trying to get to. And as an intelligent man, he was looking for an out. He was looking for a different approach to retirement. It took him moving up his family, move, I should say, moving his family from Oregon to Texas. 
that particular event, a job change, if you will, caused him to listen to the radio. Now, he'd always listen to the radio, but back in the day, Lifestyles Unlimited in the Del Wamsley radio show, we weren't playing on the West, West Coast. I never heard the show. I was living on the West Coast. Michael was living on the West Coast. He never heard the show. He and I, both of us, discovered Lifestyles Unlimited when we moved to Texas. Yeah, because that's where Lifestyles Unlimited was founded over, almost 32 years ago in Houston, Texas. And now we're, we're huge in Texas, and we're getting bigger across the nation. And we're helping people like you understand that there's a better way. As we were going to break, I mentioned that after Michael had bought and sold six single-family houses and more than doubled his money in less than three years, he was advised by his mentor, Dale Wamsley, to go buy an apartment. So he did. He decided that he would syndicate property to other Lifestyles Unlimited members, and he found a 64-unit apartment community in the general Austin area. And he made that asset available for investment to other Lifestyles Unlimited members who invested with him. Now, I want you to understand something. At the, he had not achieved retirement. He had not achieved retirement. Remember, I told you, he joined in 2009, and he got himself retired in four years. Now, up to this point, I've, I've told you what he's done with regards to real estate investing. He went out and bought six single-family assets, owned and operated them for three years, sold them, more than doubled his money in three years. Then he was advised by his mentor, go buy an apartment community. So he did. He bought a 64-unit apartment community. Now, this is about the beginning of year four that he's a member of Lifestyles Unlimited. Are you putting the pieces together? I think you're putting the pieces together because what you're going to understand is that that 64-unit apartment community was the catalyst that caused Michael to step away from corporate America. You heard me correctly. It was the catalyst that created his ability to step away from corporate America. And ironically, the, the one thing, the one area that we as Lifestyles Unlimited members advise our members that they should not be full-time employees anywhere if they're going to do this type of investing is in the lead investor arena. And here's why. We believe that being a lead investor is, is the equivalent to a full-time job. Now, you're not working for somebody else. They're not telling you when to report for work and stuff like that. They're not telling you when you can take vacations. None of that stuff happens. You're in complete control. But you need to have some available time to own and operate and manage your assets because you're the asset manager, okay? And as the asset manager, it takes some additional time. Now, Michael made this decision that he was going to go ahead and take on that full-time lead investor thing while working a full-time job on the space station. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. He's brilliant. He's capable. He and Paige pulled it off. But he learned something in that particular process. And here's what he learned. He learned that even though he was very successful as a lead investor, and by making that investment, it caused him to achieve retirement, he realized that he really didn't want that full-time obligation. Even though he's in complete control of his life, he didn't want that full-time commitment. What he preferred to be was fully retired. He prefers to have 100% access to his available time with nobody putting pressure on his time, except for maybe his medical doctor, right? Because you got to go get your body checked out, right? All right, so he was also, now get this, he was also investing money with other members of Lifestyles Unlimited. You heard me correctly. He's, so he, not only does he have his own asset, that he's making available to other Lifestyles Unlimited members, he's taking his money and he's investing it with other Lifestyles Unlimited members at the same time. And what this is doing for him is this is accelerating his ability to grow his portfolio. 
Now, you heard yesterday Michael disclosed to you that he is he is actively invested in 70, you heard me, 70, 70 different apartment communities. Now, he didn't start with 70. He started with one, and then he got two, and then he maybe sold one and got two from that. And see, that's his strategy. What he's been able to do over the past 11 years is to systematically adjust his investment strategy so that it provides him the income streams that it requires while also giving him the opportunity to focus on equity growth. In other words, increasing the value of your asset. Yeah, that, that doubling effect that I was talking about. This is what Michael has been doing. And along the way, he's been having a great time. Now, just like everybody else, he got messed over by the pandemic. Yeah, he was, he was told to stay home and do all that stuff. But here's the thing. During the pandemic, he was completely retired. It, really, his life didn't change much at all, other than the fact he just couldn't move about the country like we all wanted to do, right? So now that the pandemic is basically in the rearview mirror, Michael is starting his life again. And the beautiful thing is this. In this current version of his life, his net worth is superior, far superior to what it was when he started this process. 29 years of working, 29 years of working allowed him to increase the value of his 401k to $400,000 three different times. Yeah, that's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, that's absolutely terrible. So let me, let me tell you what he did. He dumped the 401k. He did. And the money that he made off the sale of his house in Oregon, well, he used that money matched with his 401k money to start investing correctly. See, what Michael was able to do was rechart his path forward to retirement. He was able to get off that roller coaster that wasn't getting him to where he was trying to get to. And he was able to get onto a roadmap that got him to retirement in four years. Four years. You know, you can do this too. You totally can do this too. And I don't care how busy you are. I don't care how wild your life is. I don't care what your time commitments are. I am here to tell you you can do this too. You can systematically become educated on how to do this correctly. We only need 16 hours of your time. We, we, can, we can make that work in different ways for you because we're flexible. 16 hours of your time is all you need to change your life. Back in 2009, Michael spent 16 hours of his life learning how to change the trajectory of his life. He took that information, he put it to use, and he's currently doing great. I mean, I, I guess I could throw out his numbers. You know, I, I could throw his numbers out. He's not here. I'm not sure if I should do that. Let's just throw him out anyhow. He can just call me and go, Al, why did you do that? Oh, well, he won't do that because he wants to give you information. 2016, age 53, fully retired. What that means is he has enough passive income coming in from his assets that he never has to return to work. At the age of 53, he's done. And now he is working on doubling his asset values every three to five years. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show constitutes an endorsement recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.